It's a beautiful morning. It's 9.30. We're waiting for the dew to come off the grapes, and we're going to have an amazing day of picking. It's my first time. I'm really looking forward to it. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Where are you from? Ottawa. So you came down from Ottawa today to... Uh, well, not two, but yes. <laughs> it's my third year here, and I'm really excited about it. Okay. And I'm here? excited to try the, li the wine, the grapes you picked from last year, this year. Oh, oh that's right. We had some of them. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, first time here? First time here. First time. First day. Where are you from? We live in Toronto, but we are from Europe originally. Belgium and France. And France. Serious It wine. is a glorious day. Wine oh, so I can't. There. Oh good. Oh no, what a no, shame. no, no. Oh. Uh, right. So where are you guys from? <laughs> we're from Carrying Place. Yeah, we're glad to be here. In the, the county. Okay. Yes. Perfect. The metropolis of Carrying Place. Yeah. <laughs> There's gonna be a little boy here. He's around four. Oh really? Oh, yeah, about eleven o'clock my boy is coming. Oh, okay. Mom's yeah. bringing my two yeah. boys up today. We thought they were here too. Huh? We were here when you were just like two or You matchmaker oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, those cute cheeks. Yeah, See, yeah. I never lost mine. <laughs> yeah. How are you, Joe? What are you doing today? I am making a variety of pizzas to um, serve all the wonderful people, volunteers <laughs> that are coming here to harvest at Norman Hardy's. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to feed them all. Okay. What are you doing right here now? Um, I'm just coming out this morning to uh, see if we can start picking yet. Um, and so we've had a fair amount of dew this morning, so we're just looking to uh, make sure that they're a little bit drier before we start picking. You don't want, you don't want to add water to wine. So. A little bit quicker. You know, just like, there you yep. go. Carry on. Um, you know, just a, just a quick, quick little sort. Um, and uh, you also want to make sure you sort not into your bin. <laughs> Sounds trivial. <laughs> but, and there's a, a few other things to look for. So you can see this is a really great bunch to use. Yeah. You don't yeah. you don't want to pick that. Um, it's really there's this looks good, so you might pick it, but I would actually just take that and cut that top cut part. the bottom. Cut the bottom oh, off. And you can cool. see this is like this starts getting really gross as well. Yeah. So okay. you just wanna like um, so so you're just gonna pick up the vine up the up the row and then you would be so this is 28 so you go up 28 and then you come down 30 uh, and then uh, okay. and um, you want to stay ahead of people so you can see how, how so people are spaced Hi. Um, you just I'm just uh, cutting these grapes off the their Pinot Noir grapes and I'm cutting them uh, off the stem and we're looking we're looking for any Botrytis or these are beautiful. Look at these, they're beautiful Pinot Noir grapes. Hey, how you doing? Steven, smile for the camera. Hey, smile for the camera. Look. Look. <laughs> He's gonna kill me today, man. An extra 25 pounds. So the whole family's out today. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Just at our cottage in Campbellford. So. First time doing this? It is actually. How'd you we hear about it? A couple times. I'm on his email list. So. Okay. Yeah. So we figured it'd be nice. We're up for the Thanksgiving weekend. So. What better way than to celebrate harvest? Yeah, you got it. Seriously, 100%. Beautiful grapes. Man, oh man. Unbelievable. Great. Uh, my name is Tina and I'm from Toronto and I found out about this two years ago when uh, Norman was on CBC radio and I just thought it would be a really awesome opportunity to help with something I'm interested in. I love wine and uh, I love grapes and I'm, I'm just really excited to see how this comes together and uh, yeah really looking forward to it. I'm Todd, I'm Tina's husband and uh, yeah I'm really glad Tina found this spot because this is our third year and we're gonna keep coming. This is our tradition now for Thanksgiving. Go. I'm Harrison, I'm from Toronto, and I'm here for the awesome feast after. Hi, I'm uh, Gary, I, uh, I'm from Toronto, and I'm here because uh, I was interested in 
uh, getting out for the harvest a bit and experiencing some of the uh, uh, the wine uh, that I sell at a different level. I sell some enormous stuff at the restaurant I work at and I uh, really love it, so thought I'd give it a go. Hi, I'm Sue. I'm from Toronto. I'm a jewelry designer. I love working with my hands. I love wine. I love drinking wine and maybe one day owning a vineyard, so this is a great way to test it out. Alright, so I'm Sarah. I'm from Toronto and um, it's my second time here today. I was here yesterday um, and I guess I'm here uh, sort of to, to give back. I drink a lot of wine and I've never done this before and it seemed like a good idea to sort of see what's involved in a glass of wine and it's a lot of work. <laughs> uh, I'm Anita and this is Josie and we're from Woodstock, Ontario and uh, we've been here several times and we thought this would be a great way to spend Thanksgiving weekend. Can you say hi? My, uh, my name's <laughs> Lucas. I'm from Toronto. We made the uh, drive down this morning. A nice, uh, nice early start to the day. Not a typical uh, start, but uh, we're here to uh, you know be a part of the grassroots uh, you know cult cultivation and harvesting of, of the grapes. Uh, I work at a restaurant uh, that's really wine focused, and for me, it's a, par a part of uh, making that connection here and uh, continuing that through, and and uh, really being a part of something that's uh, that's truly special. Don Lee from Toronto, and I'm here because uh, friends of mine introduced me to the winery. I'm Ken McCarter from Toronto, and uh, we have a place in Hikes Point Road nearby, and been coming to Norman Hardy for a long time. And this is always a fun part of the uh, part of the year, taking part in this. Uh, just ordering some grapes. So we brought uh, all the county pinots come off our home block, and we're just putting it through. Uh, one last little quality control before it goes to the December. So, great part of the year. Now all we have to do is now all we have to do is make it. <laughs> and what are you doing? I'm mashing potatoes with a Norman Hardy wine bottle because we can't find a potato masher. Hi, I'm Johannes. Uh, I'm the operations manager at Hardy Wines, and uh, I'm getting the food ready today for our pickers. Uh, we have our cassoulet here, which is made from local beans and some chicken in there. In addition, we have some really nice barbecued chicken. And this morning, I got up very early, and we cooked up. Uh, we cut up actually a whole pig. These are the ribs that we got from it. And in the oven, now we have all the hams and the shoulders that are cooking away and um, aging gracefully, as normal would say. What have you been doing all day, Dill? I've been picking grapes, too, <laughs> and I'm tired. <laughs> and I'm hungry. And you're going to have a glass of wine? I will, yeah. Yeah, you did. So what, what, what are we doing now? Uh, we're relaxing. Yeah. And we just I, finished a whole bunch of hard work, and now we're enjoying taking advantage of someone else's day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ours like last someone year. Someone else will enjoy our <laughs> Yeah, and we're, we're enjoying a little bit of wine. If you it's want to sit and enjoy a glass of wine beforehand, if you're hungry, your house is about to slice uh, the pig. We've got pig, um, uh, roasted chicken, and we also have lamb today, your house, or not? No lamb today. No lamb today. So it's. Uh, Castle. 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 Right? I mean, defeats the purpose. You have to enjoy it with others. True. Oh my god, that's As long as you believe me, it's. That yesterday, yeah. Thanks for Yeah, that would be really nice. I know it's not good for me, but I'll take it. I learned that from my uh, kid's kindergarten teacher. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to everybody for coming out today and, and helping with the pick. Um, every, uh, every hand 
uh, makes a big, big difference. And uh, the small window that we have to pick Pinot Noir, uh, it is a very, very small window. And, and having every hand, every grape that you picked, uh, does make a difference. Me and my mom picked Oh, you did. I know you did. Thank you. Um, the, uh, we got about three bins there. So uh, this morning you guys picked about... Uh, Two buckets. So, okay, you picked two buckets, and everywhere you guys picked uh, about 1,800 to 2,000 bottles worth of uh, wow. Pinot Noir a day. So, thank you. Better than they did yesterday? Uh, about the same. Um, and, and lastly, um, uh, you'll be getting an email about it, but I'll tell you about it now because um, they did a um, big tasting in Montreal last Tuesday. It was called the Judgment of Montreal. It was um, based on the Judgment in Paris in 1976 when they brought some great California Chardonnays when they used to make Chardonnay, uh, as opposed to oak water they do now, uh, <laughs> and um, uh, to Paris. And they put it blind against uh, a whole bunch of Burgundies. And, and uh, I think it was Chateau Montalena uh, came, out of, came out of the top and really put California Chardonnay uh, on the world map. Um, anyhow, they did a they did a similar tasting in Montreal with Pinot Noir on Tuesday, where they collected 21 Pinot Noirs. Uh, I think there were 15 or 16, 14 or 15 from Burgundy, uh, primarily Grand Cru's and Premier Cru's, um, and then uh, the best uh, uh, Pinot Noirs from the New World. Uh, and um, the results came out on Wednesday when I was in the middle of the St. David's pick. It was about 8,000 degrees, and my agent called me, and he said, you're not going to believe it. Uh, and I said, well, what do you mean? I totally forgotten we sold some wine for this. And he said, well, you didn't come first, but the difference between two and five was nothing. And um, you came fifth, um, and there was no new world that even came close to you. Mm -hmm. And um, it's going to make a huge difference. In one of the Montreal newspapers, the article that came out uh, uh, came out this weekend, and, the, and the, the, the tagline, the headline was Grand Cru in Ontario. So, <laughs> hey, um, there you go. So, uh, so uh, anytime you're welcome back. And on the table, for those who were involved with the pick last year, uh, the 2010 Pinot Noir that's on the table, you had a hand in it somewhere. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks everybody. Enjoy the wine and uh, feel free to go taste and. Uh, and uh, you know, I know all the shops are closed tomorrow, so you might need to do some retail therapy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you closed tomorrow. All right.